What's going on guys, Bills from Achievement Land. I'm here with an achievement review for Air Guitar Warrior 4 Connect. Another awesome Xbox One Connect game brought to us by Virtual Air Guitar Company. They developed and published this game just like they did their other Connect games, Boom Ball, Squid Hero, Kung Fu Connect. But now they finally made an Air Guitar game. This game just released onto Xbox March 29, 2017 for a price of $19.99. So I'm going to show you what this game is about give you some tips and go over the achievements so make sure you have enough room make sure you have good lighting and don't wear colors that are gonna blend in with your walls or your bed it's gonna make it harder to detect you so we got ten different albums each one has five songs the fifth song is a boss after you beat the boss you get to take a picture for the album cover smacking dinosaurs <laughs> you can do whatever you want pose however you want it's pretty funny At the top you see here it says customize the legend. After you beat the ninth album, for the tenth album you're going to unlock the legend sword and you can actually customize this sword with a different shooting. Each one of the swords has a different way it shoots so you can customize it and make it however you want which is pretty cool. So let's go over the achievements here. There's 22 of them. I only have one left here and that's to get to level 30. I'm going to show you how to grind out to get that. Complete level without running out of balls. You can do this on any of the beginning levels very easily. Just make sure you keep switching. I'll go over that more. You have to complete each album for an achievement. You have to kill a certain amount of monsters with each guitar. You have to complete a track without losing health. And also reach 100% completion. And that's for hitting all the enemies. I'll show you some good areas you can do that. Killing a certain amount of monsters with each guitar. Just switch up the guitars as you're playing through the game and you should be fine. All you'll need is to finish one more when you finish the game. And you can actually do it on the credits level. I'll show you that after, but it's very easy. There's infinite ammo. So my last one here is to get level 30. I'll show you how to grind for level 30 as well. You should be around like level 21 when you finish all the levels. So you just gotta grind the last nine levels. So this is level 6. This one's a good one to uh, not miss any or don't get hit. You have all these different guitars to pick from. They shoot a little differently. There's four different ways to shoot as you can see at the top. It will teach you at the beginning how to do all four but basically you hold it all the way at the top of the guitar and you either strum fast or slow or you pull your arm in and you do it fast or slow. You get a power up um, after you get to the third album where you can lean back and it's a stronger shot. It will do your fast shot and it's more powerful. Thankfully you don't need 100% on each level or else this completion would be really hard but it's a very easy completion. You just have to finish the 50 levels. It only takes about 3 to 4 hours to complete the game. And that's even with the grinding at the end to get to level 30. It's pretty quick to get to level 30, especially using the method of just beating the first boss over and over again because you can kill him really quickly and he gives you a good amount of XP. Your XP actually goes up as you're playing. Every time you get a kill, it gives you health and XP. Now when you're going for the one where you don't lose health and you don't miss the guys, you get 100%. This is the only spot right here you want to be careful about. You want to make sure you get all those guys. You shouldn't really have a problem getting 100% on this level. But if you are struggling, there is a few other ones down the line. You can just play the game, and as you get further, you might actually get 100% on some of them without even trying. There's a couple of them that are pretty easy, but I did it on this one. I thought it was the easiest. But you can actually just play the whole game and just go see if you do it. And then if you don't do it, then you can go back and do this level, which is level 6, the first one on the second album. The first one on this album, Unleash Your Demon, number 26, is pretty easy as well. I like the legend, but you don't get this to the end. You can customize, like I said. But if you're having trouble with any of the levels, use the Spectre. Doing, uh, holding your 
hand in so that it shoots the faster one and going back and forth from slow and fast it's basically the same thing right now I put the spectre stuff on my legendary for my my moves that are that are closer in when you're holding it I really like this one you just strum slow and then it annihilates everything or you strum fast and does really good too but you can't keep using the same thing over and over again you lose ammo as it goes down but it rebuilds so that's why you gotta keep switching it up I can't believe I missed that guy later on as you get in the game there's gonna be different shields the guys have you gotta shoot a certain way to break them not these guys this this one you have to shoot fast and it breaks the white circle and then you can kill them there's more of them if you lean back you get the power up it shoots faster if there's any guys that take a lot of shots to kill it's good to use that kills them quickly now these are the other shields you gotta shoot slow slow shot and that was the end of the level a lot of the levels are pretty short some of them are like a minute and 20 seconds there's some that are like two minutes but none of them are too long this level is also good for uh, killing guys with your sword if you want but the credits is the really good one which is on the last level level 50 isn't a level it's actually just the credits it's a level that you can play but you don't have to worry about ammo on this one, so this is a good one to uh, get all your kills with if you have any left over at the end of the game. This is a pretty fun game, pretty cool game. It's nice and easy for a completion. It doesn't take that much time and you won't really struggle on any levels and if you do, just switch up the guitar, you shouldn't have a problem. nice that you don't have to get 100% on all the levels or this would be a horrible completion. <laughs> it is a pretty entertaining game though. I had fun when I was playing it. And I think it'd be funny to have friends come over and play it, take different album covers and stuff. So it's a good Kinect game and I hope they have more Kinect games that come out. My only complaint about this game would be the price. I think it's a little overpriced. I think it should be like 12 or 15. So, probably best to wait for a sale on this game. $20 is a little expensive. Some of the animals that you ride actually fly, go up and down. So you just uh, move your guitar up and down. That's how you move it. never stop rocking all right so I'm almost at level 30 here I'm gonna show you the way to grind to level 30 this electric uh, candy land that was one of the hardest ones so you're probably gonna want to use the spectre guitar on that level all right so you got to grind to level 30 you want to go to the first album the last level use any guitar that you're comfortable with or set up the legend Customize it. You're gonna be flying on a shark. Now this guy is really easy to kill. Just aim for his eyes. Lean back and use the power. Do more damage, and he's done really quickly. And when you beat him, you get a decent amount of XP. And there we go. Once you beat it, you get to make a pose. <laughs> There's my album, and there's my achievement, God of Rock. This game is now completed. But thanks for watching, guys. If you want to check out this game, it's on the marketplace now. You can pick it up. Like I said, I would wait for a sale, but either way, it is a fun game. And if you want to see more achievement reviews, walkthroughs, guides, check out the YouTube and the website, AchievementLand.com.